Love and unity to the community. YM3 having a party is another episode, so here we go.
Do you know how we celebrate Easter? Well, some by dyeing eggs and decorating them. Others celebrate by eating chocolate bunnies and having these huge... But we celebrate Christ in our own way by remembering what he sacrificed for us, his life. The scripture says for in John 3, 16, that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And that's what we celebrate, that God gave his son for us to have everlasting life. Well, today, the Cubans want to explain to you all about Easter and what it actually means and take you through the steps of what Christ went through in order to give his life for us. Let's take this time to watch, all right? Let's go. After Jesus and the disciples left the Passover supper, they went to the Mount of Olives and into the Garden of Gethsemane. Jesus asked the disciples to wait, and he went farther in to pray. After some time, soldiers showed up to take Jesus away, and he agreed to go with them. The priests and rulers agreed that Jesus was guilty of claiming to be the Son of God. So, they agreed that he should be put to death by crucifixion. They placed a crown of thorns on his head and whipped him repeatedly. He was then made to carry his own cross to Calvary. And an earthquake shook the land. When Mary came to where Jesus had been buried, they were told that the body was not there. The stone in front of it had been moved. Jesus had risen from the grave on the third day after his death. that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. As you can see, that was a great way to show what Christ did for us. And I wanna take this time to give you an opportunity to accept his salvation. It's free. You don't have to pay for it because Jesus paid for it all on the cross. How do you accept that? It's simple as A, B, C. A is accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. B, believe on him that he has saved you and that he, he died and rose from the grave. And C, confess of all your sins. Everything that you've done, said, or thought that you feel that it offended God and that's a sin, you confess those things and ask for his forgiveness. And then you're saved. That way you can have eternal life with him. Well, 
that's all the time that we have for now. I will see you on next week. And remember, it's as simple as A, B, C, and that Jesus is our B, F, F. Bye! And now, let's see if you have time to play a special game.
man. He loves you more than you'll ever know. Instead of walking away, open up.